Why does your complexion suddenly look like a teenager's? Plus, how your thoughts can help you achieve an awesome, unmedicated birth. Hi, I'm Genevieve Holland, best-selling author of the Mama Natural Week-by-Week -week Guide to Pregnancy and Childbirth. And if you're pregnant, be sure to sign up for my free week-by-week -week series at mamanatural.com slash updates. Each week, you'll see what's up with baby, what's up with you, and learn how to have a safe and natural pregnancy. And if you want to get a jump start on your entire pregnancy, be sure to pick up my book at mamanaturalbook.com. What's up with baby? Got any bananas in your kitchen? Grab the biggest one and take a close look at it because that's how long your little baby is from crown to feet this week. Yes, starting now, baby is actually measured from his head to his toes instead of his crown to his rump. All of baby's major organs and systems have formed now, though they will of course continue to develop and mature. His bone marrow has begun producing blood cells, taking over the job from the liver and the spleen. But baby's big job going forward is to acquire that adorable baby fat. He will need it to propel his body into the greatest growth spurt ever during his first year of life. Now, on average, babies triple their birth weight during that first year, and they grow nearly a foot in length. Now, this beautiful layer of fat insulates baby's organs, provides a reserve in case of weight loss or illness, and of course, provides an energy source too. Now, remember, as baby grows, you grow. So don't be surprised if your appetite increases over the next couple of months. What's up with mama? They say you'd have a beautiful pregnancy glow. Instead, you have acne worse than a teenager's or brown spots that rival a leopard's. What gives? Well, once again, we can thank those beautiful pregnancy hormones for an increase in acne, blemishes, or freckling. Now, thankfully, there are plenty of safe and natural remedies to treat troublesome pregnancy skin. So for acne, for example, you can use diluted apple cider vinegar on your blemishes. And for pigmentation issues, you can do a yogurt and lemon juice mask. Now I've got many more natural tips. I'll have links to both of those articles in the video description below. Speaking of your face, how's your mouth? Now there's an old wives tale that says, gain a child, lose a tooth. Pretty brutal, right? But when we're pregnant, we're more susceptible to dental decay. And that's because our gums swell, which can really trap bacteria, but also baby may pull those much needed minerals from our teeth if it has to. So it's important to get on top of this early as dental decay can also lead to a premature birth. So mama, bulk a cleaning if it's been a while and be sure to brush and floss those pearly whites a couple times a day. Spotlight, natural childbirth affirmations. I know from experience that our minds can be our biggest friend or foe during birth. Just like we need to exercise to keep our bodies strong and healthy, we need to train our minds and practice positive affirmations and visualizations to have the birth we desire. And your thoughts may help you experience an amazing natural childbirth. Now, when I was pregnant the first time around, I listened to affirmations maybe once or twice, but I never embraced them. I thought, ah, oh, I've got this. It's a natural birth. Of course, you know, my body's designed to do this. It'll be easy. Let me just say at a 27 hour labor, it was brutal. I literally thought I was not going to make it. Now with my second pregnancy, I knew, oh my gosh, I have to do this so differently. So I studied, I prayed, I did visualizations. And let me just tell you that that birth was incredible. So wow, day and night experiences because I trained my brain, I grounded my spirit because birth really is a whole self experience. Now I'm so passionate about this that I created affirmation cards. Now I'll have a link in the video description below on where you can get these, but we also give these away free to any of our childbirth education class members. To do's, determine your childcare setup when your baby arrives. Now's the time to determine your childcare setup for when baby arrives. Will you stay home full time, part time, or if you work outside of the home, what's that gonna look like? Also narrow down your list of baby names. Now we have a whole section on our website all about the baby names, um, so be sure to check it out. I'll have a link to that in the video description below. Lots of good ideas for inspiration. Okay, now I wanna end with some positivity. Here's your weekly affirmation. I believe I can and so I will. Your mind can make or break your birth. You have the glorious opportunity to train it now to work with you, not against you. Believe you can birth this baby naturally. Declare it out loud. Envision your natural birth. Imagine it as a lovely and empowering experience. The more you saturate yourself with these positive words and images, the more enjoyable childbirth will be. 
Thanks so much for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell. Also, head on over to mamanatural.com slash updates and sign up for my free pregnancy week by week series. Each week you'll see what's up with baby, what's up with you, and discover ways to have a safe and natural pregnancy. Finally, check out my best selling book, The Mama Natural Week by Week Guide to Pregnancy and Childbirth. It's the only week by week guide from a natural perspective, and it's one of the highest rated pregnancy books on Amazon. More info at mamanaturalbook.com.